welcome all my dear students to your maths online class so yes students in my last lecture i have taught you the sums of exercise 3c and i hope you must have completed all those four sums in your maths cw notebook and today i'm ready to explain you question number first and question number second of exercise 3d yes exercise 3d is having total three questions but i will be explaining you today only two questions that is question number first and question number second fine so let's begin with question number first hcf that means highest common factor definition of this i have already explained you when i was explaining you exercise 3c and along with that we have done few sums also related to hcf in exercise 3a okay so now uh, we will be moving on with the same topic here in this exercise so let's begin with question number first so in question number first a part it is the factors are already given that is 18 is equals to 2 into 3 into 3 and 20 is equals to 2 into 2 into 5 see this is the question number first part a so what you have to do students you have to firstly write down that these are the factors of 18 and these are the factors of 20 so you have to write down like this factors of 18 are so it will be 2 into 3 into 3 like this you will be writing as it is written here then in the next step you will be writing factors of 20 are it is 2 into 2 into 5 then in next step we have to write common factors of 18 and 20 are. so here you can see the common factors are 2 okay only number 2 is coming common in both nothing else is common here which is coming in both so it will be only 2 fine therefore hcf of 18 and 20 is since there is only one common factor so the hcf will be only 2 answer okay so this was your a part let's move on to b part now in b part it is given 30 is equals to 2 into 3 into 5 and 25 is equals to 5 into 5 see uh, this is the second part now again as i've told you you have to write factors of 30 are it is 2 into 3 into 5 then you will be writing in next step factors of 25 are so it is 5 into 5 then common factors of 25 and 30 are now you can see the common factor is 5 which is coming in both other than 5 nothing else is common so it is only 5 therefore in last step hcf of 30 and 25 is what yes it is only number 5 so this will be your answer okay so this was your a part sorry b part now let's move on to the next part that is c part so c part is 40 is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 and 36 is equals to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 this is your c part so again you will be writing firstly factors of 40 are here the factors of 40 are given 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 then in the next step you will write factors of 36 are it is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 then third step common factors of 40 and 36 are so the common factors are 2 is coming common here again one more 2 is coming common here so the common factors are 2 and 2 2 times this 2 is coming common now highest 
common factor of 40 and 36 is see 2 times number 2 same number is coming common so we will multiply these two number to find the HCF so 2 into 2 will give you 4 so here 4 is the HCF 4 is the answer of 40 and 36 fine so this was your question number first let's move on to question number second now now in question number second see I was talking you uh, talking with you know that uh, I have given you this question in exercise 3a so like this only uh, I have explained you this question in exercise 3a question number fourth it was given here see question number fourth was find the common factor and identify the highest common factor of each of the numbers right so this was the question which ha we have already done and same way we have to solve here in question number two so see firstly we have to find the common factors see it is written find the hcf of the following by listing the common factors so firstly you have to tell the common factors and then you have to find its hcf so how you will be doing it just see a part is 12 and 15 okay so these are the two numbers so firstly you will be finding the factors of 12 and in front of it you will find the factors of 15 okay so see as i told you all the number comes in the table of 1 so first of all you will be solving it by the table of 1 in the table of 1 12 comes 12 times after 1 it comes in the table of 2 because the last digit is 2 so 2 into 6 is equals to 12 after that it comes in the table of 3 so 3 into 4 is equals to 12 so these are the three table in which this number 12 comes okay so these are the factors of 12 similarly we will be finding the factors of 15 so it will be 1 into 15 then 15 then it comes in the table of 3 so 3 into 5 is equals to 15 so these are the factors now see you will write factors of 12 are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 6 and 12 1 2 3 4 6 12 so these are the factors of 12 right and then in the next line you will be writing factors of 15 are so the factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 1 comma 3 comma 5 and 15 these are the factors of 15 now you have to write the common factors of common factors of 12 and 15 so the common factors of 12 and 15 will be 1 is coming in both and then number 3 is coming in both nothing else is common you can see so the common factor of 12 and 15 is 1 and 3 okay therefore finally hcf of 12 and 15 is so which is the highest number from 1 and 3 because we have to write the hcf h means highest so the highest number from 1 and 3 is yes of course 3 so the hcf of 12 and 15 is 3 and this will be your answer right so uh, like this you have to do all the parts of question number second so now the b part is 20 and 30 in b part you have to find 20 and 30 common factors of uh, 20 and 30 you will be finding firstly and then from it you will find the hcf so first of all you have to find the factors of 20 right so the factors of 20 and in front of it you will find the factors of 30 so one by one we will be finding it let's begin with factors of 20 so 1 into 20 is equals to 20 then 2 into 10 is equals to 20 because it comes in the table of 2 after 2 20 comes in the table of 4 4 into 5 is equals to 20 okay after that it comes in the table of 5 so 5 into 4 only 6 it doesn't come 7 it doesn't come 8 also it doesn't come and 9 also it doesn't come so these will be the factors of 20 now we have to move on to the factors of 30 so 1 into 30 is equals to 30 then 2 into 15 is equals to 30 
3 into 10 is equals to 30. After 3, it doesn't come in the table of 4, but it comes in the table of 5, 6 times. So, 5 into 6 is equals to 30. Then after 5, it doesn't come in the table of, uh, it comes in the table of 6. So, we have already written 6 into 5, but it doesn't come in the table of 7, 8 and 9. Okay. So, these will be the factors of 30. So, you will be writing factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So, these are the factors of 20. Similarly, factors of 30 are. So, the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. These are the factors of 30. Now, you will be writing the common factors of 20 and 30. Common factors of 20 and 30. So, pick the common factors 1, 2 and yes, 5 and also 10. So, the common factors of 20 and 30 are 1, 2, 5 and 10. These are the common factors. From these common factors, we have to find the HCF of 20 and 30. So, the HCF of 20 and 30 from these common factors, which one is the greatest? Yes, number 10 is the greatest. So, it is 10. Answer. Fine. So, this is your solution of B part. Let's move on to next part that is part C. It is 32 and 40. We have to find the factors of 32 and 40. So, firstly, find the factors of 32. And in front of it, find the factors of 40. So, the factors of 32 first will begin with 1 only. Second, it comes in the table of 2 because you can see that the unit digit is 2. So, 2 in the table of 2, it comes 16 times. So, 2 into 16 is equals to 32. After it, it doesn't come in the table of 3, but it comes in the table of 4, 8 times. So, 4 8s are 32. Then it doesn't come in the table of 5, it doesn't come in the table of 6, 7, but it comes in the table of 8. 8 4s are 32, which we have already written, and then it doesn't come in the table of 9. So these are the factors of 32. Let's move on to the factors of 40. So 1 into 40 is equals to 40. 2 into 20 is equals to 40. Then it doesn't come in the table of 3, but it comes in the table of 4. 4 into 10 is equals to 40. Then it comes in the table of 5 also. 5 into 8 is equals to 40. Then 6, it doesn't come. 7, it doesn't come. 8, it comes. 8 into 5, which we have already written. Then 9, it doesn't come. So, these are the factors of 40. Again, you have to make the same things. That is, factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. And then, the factors of 40 are it's 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. You don't know how to write the factors. You have to pick the numbers from here. Arrows 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. And from here 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. So these are the factors of 32 and 40. Now we have to write the common factors of 32 and 40. 40. So, pick the common factors. Yes, it is number 1, number 2, then number five, 4 and then finally number 8. So, these are the 4 common factors. So, you will be writing common factor of 32 and 40 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Right? Therefore, HCF of 32 and 40 is. So, which is the highest one? Yes, number 8 is the highest one. So, this will be the answer. Okay. So, like this we have done C part. Now, let's move on to finally D part. So, the D part is 45 and 63. We have to find the HCF of 45 and 63. So, first of all, we will be finding the factors of both. Here, we will find the factors of 45 and in front of it, we will find the factors of 63. Again, the very first factor will be with the table of 1. So, 1 into 45 is equals to 45. After that, you can see that the last digit is 5, which doesn't come in the table of 2. 
that means 45 is not divisible by 2. Let's move on to the next table that is table of 3. Check that this number comes in the table of 3 or not. So check the add the digits 5 plus 4 is equals to 9. Yes, this number comes in the table of 3. How many times? It comes 15 times in the table of 3. After that, in the table of 4, 45 doesn't come. But in the table of 5, it comes 5 into 9 is equals to 45. Then 6, it doesn't come. 7, it doesn't come. 8, it doesn't come. But 9, it comes 9 into 5 which we have written. So that's it. These are the factors of 45. Now let's move on to the factors of 63 again by the table of 1. So 1 into 63 is equals to 63. Then it doesn't come in the table of 2 because the last digit is 3. Okay. So uh, in the table of 3, divisibility of 3 is to add the digits. So add 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 will give you 9. So 9 is divisible by 3. Yes, this number is divisible by 3. So 3 in the table of 3, 6 comes 2 times and 3 comes 1 time. So 21 times this 63 comes in the table of 3. Then in the table of 4, it doesn't come. Table of 5 also it doesn't come. 6 also it doesn't come. Yes, 7 it comes. 7 nines are 63. 8 it doesn't come. 9 it comes. 9 into 7 which we have written. So these are the factors of 63. So come on, you have to write it again. Factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15 and 45. Then factors of 63 are 1, 3, 7, 9, 21 and 63. Then common factors of 45 and 63 are so the common factors are 1 3 and 9 so these three numbers are coming common so 1 3 and 9 so among these three the highest one is of course number 9 so therefore h c f of 45 and 63 is number 9 okay so this is the answer so students here I have given you the explanation of each and every part till question number 2. All the three parts of question number 1 I have explained and all the four parts of question number 2 I have explained. Now in my next lecture I will be explaining you all the parts of question number 3. It is also HCF but with different method that is prime factorization method. So this method I will be teaching you in next class till then. You have to complete your question number first and question number second in your math CW notebook. Notes you will get in today's PDF. So please do the work in neat and clean handwriting. So that's all for today. Meet you all in next online class. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you students.